So I have some questions. Yes, yes, please uh -huh. get started. Yes. Okay. So you will have to answer them, right? Yes, yes, definitely. Okay. So shall I start? Yes, please. Yeah. So uh, how can we, uh, I mean, how can we improve our communication skills? Right. So you see, communication skills needs time, practice, both of these things. Okay. okay. We provide you with the right guidance, as you already know. But the thing with communication skills is that there is one kind of communication in which you have small talk with somebody. Right. And there is there's an extempore, all of these things. So to work on this, all we need to do is firstly, uh, many people do this, that they assume that the person they are listening to, okay. uh, or, or sorry, the person they're speaking to is more profound speaker than them. Exactly. Which is, which is something that you should not think about while you are speaking. Your thoughts and your creativity actually it tends to happen. Right? Does it happen with you as well? Exactly. I mean, uh, you know, when we are speaking to a person like whom we find uh, like is much more proficient in English than us. So it mm -hmm. tends to happen. Our confidence level, it automatically goes down. And mm -hmm. I think it happens to most of us. Yes. And in that moment, it is our responsibility to not let our brain drift in that direction. Okay. okay. We should be completely focused on our thoughts, on our ideas and our expression. In my opinion, thoughts and ideas are important, but the way you express them is even more important. Exactly. For example, hey, if I was talking like this, hey, you know, about this thing, you'll feel, oh my God, is he crazy? But at the same time, if I'm talking about this seriously, you will also know that, yes, this is serious. So having the correct emotion and the correct expression and the correct content, all of these are important for becoming a good public speaker. Okay. Okay. So now comes the second question. Mm -hmm. So uh, I want to ask you that how can a person improve, you know, or build his or her vocabulary? Okay. So uh, again, like public speaking, you know, vocabulary is something you can keep mastering your entire life, but there is no end to it. Yeah, okay? right. So step one, all the words that you know of and you can think about, you should know their proper meaning and usage. This is step one. Okay. Step two, uh, try reading more. Hmm. Okay. You can, and you don't have to read any uh, big thing or any big literature or anything. Just uh, your normal newspaper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two articles a day. Okay, two articles are very, very small. Okay, the, the two of those a day. You can uh, watch some good movie, okay, with profound English. You can listen to some old songs in, you know, which they had longer sentences and not the songs that we have today. So a lot of these tricks can be used to work on vocabulary. But just reading the word and moving on with life will not help. We exactly. need to make sentences. This is like in maths class when we had all those formula. And in those formula, we all had to, yes, we had to practice them. Just exactly. cramming them. Exactly. So now you understand my point. Right. Yeah. What next uh, questions do you have? Okay. Okay. Uh, is newspaper reading is important? I mean, does it help in improving your communication skills? Well, if a person likes to read the newspaper and used to read the newspaper naturally before our suggestion came, then yes. But if a person genuinely hates reading the newspaper, then no. Okay. There are other resources as well. If you do not like reading the newspaper, you can refer to those resources. Uh, well, I also don't like reading newspapers. So, mm -hmm. so the next question is, how can one become fluent in English? Right. So this takes a lot of practice, as you already know. But you need to keep in mind a few guidelines as you are progressing. Okay. If you ever make a mistake while you are speaking to a different person, you know, okay, not your tutor at clapping go, then what you can do is make a mental note of that thing. That, okay, yeah, this is something I spoke incorrectly. And now when next time I speak this sentence or use this word, I need to pay attention to that. Mm -hmm. Step two, always keep learning. Always. Okay, even today when I see a word in the session material that I don't know, I try to do my best to understand its meaning. Okay, okay? that is uh, part two. Step three, always pronounce properly. If you exactly. move your mouth like this, exactly. 
so moving your lips properly while pronouncing is key to becoming a good speaker and becoming fluent and uh, one last piece of advice that i have right now is never think in any other language translate it into english and then speak that is a recipe for disaster okay okay but yeah you said it right but actually what happens right we have been speaking in our mother tongue since our birth okay so how can a person you know can think in english and then speak it so uh, well it is possible but after doing a lot of practice so it is quite difficult i mean according to me it is quite difficult to translate i mean to think in english and then to translate well let me explain how our mother tongue is something that has been spoken around us since our childhood we were born and the first few hundred or first thousand sentences we heard were in our mother tongue only hmm. and as we progressed in time we heard a little bit of english and hmm. then a little bit more and then a little bit more but this mother tongue has had a more gradual inclusion into our life hmm. everybody around us speak the mother tongue only so which is why we do not feel uncomfortable when it comes to it but with english uh the entire world today demands english so even though we cannot have that gradual a learning slope with it as we had with the mother tongue but what we can do is uh, try our best listen to more english songs listen to more uh, podcasts watch some english uh, videos on youtube and speak as much as you can a very good technique that i have so as i was saying is we need to speak more and more the way we talk in our mother tongue we can do that in english as well how you are combing your hair okay suddenly you find out that that uh, your hair are very uh, you know you notice that your hair have become very brittle they are breaking easily speak that out in english oh my hair have become very brittle i think i need to start oiling them you feel thirsty speak it out where is my water bottle i feel thirsty your phone is running out of battery where is my charger i need to bat, uh, charge my phone make these meaningless sentences all the time this is going to increase your closeness to english your comfort with english and then you will be able to present all your thoughts properly so uh, i want to say that what we are doing we have to speak that in english yes in this way we can improve our english yes in this way okay. we can become more comfortable with the language and that's it and what about the pronunciation what do you think pronunciation is important a person needs to i mean pay attention on the pronunciation as well or is it okay i mean pronunciation is not important what do you think what are your views on this pronunciation is definitely very very important okay it is the sign of a good speaker and you know there are people who will uh, pron- mispronounce the s and the sh sound and that is very 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 easy to catch and uh, the harsh truth is that some people may judge you on this so pronunciation is definitely very important and what we can do in this case to work on it will be whenever we find a new word always go to google put the word in the search bar and listen to it see how to pronounce it all right this is the first thing we can do second thing is if we ever have a word in which there are silent letters even i that, even i do that yes so that is a good exercise okay and uh, if you ever find a word in which there are silent letters for example honest receipt you know all these words so what we can do in that case is hear the pronunciation but also practice it in some way so that when you are standing at the line and you uh, for the parking and you need to submit your receipt you don't say receipt please give me receipt that becomes incorrect so always keep that in mind right uh, any other queries right okay so with this now we come to a brief end for this session i hope i could answer most of your queries and help you out in all the ways that i could and uh, thank you so much for joining this was a really fun session you know we got to discuss a lot of